Hey, Shalom Israel. Um, first and foremost, I want to give all honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And of course, salutations to the 144 hopefully elect that's pushing the word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third who believes in the word. Um, and believes in Yahweh Shai. Hey, I, uh, I'm, I am a little, um, you know, um, happy to be able to, to stand here right now and uh, put this video forth because the Spirit's been on me to do this video for, for a little bit now. Uh, as I said last night at camp, uh, today I was going to try to get this video uh, published, and here we are. So, basically, what this video is about is that uh, is to show um, you know just are you are you Israel are you really Israel or are you just uh, you know uh, you know are you are you the sheep are you are you the Lord's sheep basically are you the Lord's sheep are you you know what you, what what are you doing are you on are you on fire are you are you hot or cold which what what are you doing uh, because. Uh, as you, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk too long, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see. Uh, now, last, last, uh, I think it was last Tuesday, I was fortunate. Right at the beginning of the video, uh, I said that we were fishing, fishers of men, and that's it's so, uh, you know, it was, it was so spiritual because uh, just a few minutes later, uh, this young lady walked up, and she, uh, she, she heard the voice of the Lord, you know, like the, like the sheep. And she came in and she hung out for a very long time, so long, and she was just talking a lot. So I had to chop that video up uh, so much because uh, she was putting in a lot of uh, her personal experiences and things like that in the video. So I just didn't want to, you know, have it like that. So I just brought, I just put, put, put out so the word would just come out. Um, but then I think it was the same night uh, I had a brother stop by, and because that was the night of the, of the loud music. And I think, wait a minute, no, that was the week before. Well, anyway, he uh, he expressed that they, the people that put the loud music on, had uh, said that they couldn't hear me that night. You know, like they were happy, so it was like a, some kind of competition uh, to to drown out the word of the Lord. You know, uh, and I come to find out that it's the same young lady that put this another fundraiser together. Uh, to raise money for sickle cell, because she told me she had sickle cell, and that's the same lady uh, that that came to camp uh, maybe three weeks ago, and she put on a fundraiser similar to to the last one, uh, but this time her music wasn't that loud, so they could hear me. I mean, the whole crowd could hear me. It was like perfect, so they got the word that day. Uh, so she combated the next week with this uh, with this big band that normally would play. Uh, at some concert, you know, it, it was like it was like that for just a small event, um, and so the lady, like I said last night, the lady came, and she, she said uh, she, you know, she she knew she was Israel, and she had uh, sickle cell, so she's putting on this sickle cell thing, and she didn't want me to run away any of the maybe potential donors or something. I guess that's what she had in her mind. But I told her at that time, who who better would you go to uh, for your infirmities, man? But how about Shemi How Shai, the Creator of of all things, right? But that's that's one. And then it, it dawned on me, hey, uh, that's where the hot and cold comes in into play. Just because you know you're Israel, you know you're not going forth any further with this thing. That lies as the Lord requires. So therefore, uh, the Spirit put it on me to to put this video out here, man. And I also want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for giving me faith. Because that's that's one, you know, that's you know, that's something powerful to have absolute faith in the Father man. And you're gonna need that faith in these days to come up ahead because it's, without faith you it's impossible to feed, please the Lord, right? So that therefore, you know. But look, that's that's the setup of it. I'm gonna let these videos play just so you can see. First we're gonna I wanna show you the uh the hopeful one third—that's that's what I want to call her, you know. Uh, 
and hopefully she's doing her studies and she's gotten into the word. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna show. I want to show the video of the brother talking about uh, that they they can't hear me because they, they turned the music up loud. That's what it dawned on me. And then later on, it dawned on me that this is the same lady. When I found out that's the same lady uh, sponsoring this thing to raise money for the sickle cell, and I'll try to, s to see if I can dig up that, that thing uh, when it, when the actual day happened, uh, and I'll put those videos together. So well, let's just watch those real quick, then I'll get into the word, okay? Hey, y'all. What's up? Shout out on brothers and sisters. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I just want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, for bringing us out here one more time to bring out the gospel of peace uh, on this day, this beautiful day of atonement. I want to turn you all around so you can see how beautiful this is. Because y'all brothers all see, you can't see through there, can you? You see that sunset? Is about to go down there over there? So, it's going to be really nice, man. It's going to be nice. Uh, right now they're having a sickle cell, some kind of sickle cell uh, fundraiser over here. And the lady that come over here already, she said she's an Israelite and all that. But she asked me not to cause no trouble or something like that. But I told the lady, well, you know, this is the perfect time to bring out the gospel of peace because she sounded like she didn't want me to do it. But this is the perfect time if she's having that because who would you go to in your time of need and in your time of trouble, okay? So, we're about to bring out the scriptures. Uh, it's basically the introduction of, of Yahweh. And that's what we come out here to do, to bring out the truth, to exalt the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and let people know what time it is, okay? So let's, let's get it going. I'm going to check the camera one more time. Make your body a living sacrifice, and he say, uh, you know, this is the time that we should be suffering, man. Because that's, that's what's going to distinguish you from the lust of the flesh and then the lust of the spirit. You want you want more spiritual things and not so much fleshly things. But that's why that's how he's going to separate the difference between regular people and, and the one-third and the one-forty-four of the lake, man. Yes, sir. Good night, y'all. Good night, good night. Good morning. Bring him to the blessing of the Almighty. They asked me, and they didn't ask me, but they said, put the camera in to me. They want to hear Tommy if the stop start blocking the head. The man who said they don't want to hear Tommy. That's a good point. They got the bottom line. Well, they got some big speakers tonight. Yeah. The bottom line is... They brought extra. They didn't tell me going to be out there. Everybody's like... The capability is not one-tenth of a million capabilities of the higher height. Well, the Lord called that folly, so it's saying. not profitable for them to be doing that. That's what I'm saying. Y'all hear that? Just like in the days of Noah. They said they were getting married, they were giving up marriage, they were singing, dancing, having a good time. So the flood came. Oh Lord, no, what's this? Too late, baby. Let us in, oh, let us in. Too late. The doors are closed. Anyway, keep on, keep on keeping on. Alright, y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night, okay? That's the that's the building right there. Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Hey, it's uh today's a Tuesday. It's the uh, October seventh, and and all you know all praises to the Lord for allowing us to come back out tonight. Uh, it's been a long day, but we're out here, man. We're gonna proclaim the word just a little bit. Um, you know, just spread the word, just like the Lord say, and bid them to the marriage, right? Whoever here, you know, hopefully they can hear. If you don't hear it, man, you no. Know, but that's what we, that's all we can do. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring out the word, um, you know, and do what we're supposed to do, man. So without any further ado, I want to turn to the east because it's very important because it's scriptural to turn to the east, man. Turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for uh, bringing out the 100% truth, for keeping it real, doing what the Holy Spirit told them to do, you know, without any, you know, they did it. They, they do it and they're still doing it. Okay? 
Uh, want to give it up to the Akim out there, to the other Akim out there that, that believes in the 100% truth and, and pushing the word in all truth and sincerity. And uh, of course, to the one third out here, the true believers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, keep it strong, brothers and sisters. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this word out and uh, see 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 if we can catch any catch any be officials of men out here. Let's see what we can do. And these people that lied to y'all about uh, worshiping this false god and false idol, so they got you breaking the first commandment and the fourth commandment. So we're out here trying to make sure that y'all know, so you can repent. Repent to the one true living God. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Before he comes back, the Lord said, When you hear these words, he said, My sheep hear my voice. So when you hear this word and it kind of makes sense to you, you're supposed to run your butt up here and get some more information so you can repent and figure out what you're supposed to do in these last days before he comes back. Okay? So with that said, we're going to continue on. We're going to go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 58, where it says, cry aloud. The Lord says, cry aloud. He says, spare not. Good night. Oh, good. Come on down. How you doing? Yeah, you can stay right there. You're not in the camera if you stand right there. So we're out here proclaiming that we done been lied to our whole lives about who the Lord is, man. I mean, lady, young lady. Because, and, and the Lord say in the last days, he's going to allow us to understand and know the truth of the Bible, right? So we're coming out here letting everybody know that we are actually the children of Israel that's in the Bible. But the, the so-called devil has deceived us. People are waiting on the devil to come down and deceive them. They think the devil is one person. The devil is a whole nation of people referring to out of the Bible, okay? So the Lord wants us to come out here and make sure everybody know. You can take this so you can check it out later, okay? This is right here. It's on YouTube, okay? Right here it says, uh, Black History, Hidden Identity. That's one thing that's going to show you who you are, okay? Really. And then, just, just make sure you got the right one. Look for this man's name, the Cabal, and it's 57 minutes, okay? The second one is Great Millstone. That's the people you I learned from. Book telling? Yeah, you need a Bible? Sure, I would love to check out Bible. I would love to check out Bible. Good. So, and then the third one is me. The third, so this is the who I learned from, Great Millstone, okay? And they got, so I'm not the only one. This is happening all around the world, okay? Because this is some serious business, okay? Because this is talking about salvation. The Lord is not who people say he is. You know, there's people, that's not, see, you see that man on the top left right there? Who that, who that is? Exactly. So that's how they deceive the people. Because did you hear what the Lord looked like, really looked like? He got skin like us. Let me read it for you, because that right there should blow your mind. Because you can look at that picture and say, that's not, that's not the Messiah. This is called the Apocrypha. So what, this is inside, this is inside the Bible. But they take, they took this book out of the Bible, okay? So, so is everything inside the Bible? Like, this is Paul's and stuff? Like yeah, you stuff can't have this one yet. Check that out, check those things out first online. And then study when you when you when you when you listen to those people, study with the Bible and find it in the Bible. Then sure. come back. I'll order you one of these, okay? Because this is my last one. But look, this is inside this Bible here. But see, they took. I had to pay 50 bucks for this Bible here. But they took this book out of this book because this book has so much good stuff in it that it, 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 they can't deny the truth. You see what I'm talking about? Let me read to you what the Lord really looks like, real quick, okay? This is the Book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 12. It says, And I turned to see the voice that spoke to me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he's wearing something like me. Don't worry, but ain't nobody looking at you. What are you worried about? Yeah, just stand right there. I'll read it louder, okay? Clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girdled about the paths with the golden girdle. His head and his hair were white like wool. So he had hair, this really eye? hair. It's on. You see the red light flashing? So it. It's on. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. Cause he liked to drink wine, so his eyes, you know, got a little red, kind of, you know. 
and his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. So his feet were like the color of a penny, and you put a penny in, in some fire, it's gonna get a little darker, right? So his, his, his feet were like the color of my, my hand. So it looked like us, right? So it does not look like that picture over there, man. Uh, okay. So they're, they're trying to say, oh, these are so white, but these are just the color as us. Exactly. So by yeah. them, because because they that's how they frame it up and say, oh, he's white, but he's just black as us. Because he's not the god of everybody. That's their god. You when you see that when you look on this last one, it's uh, called Future Hope. There is one on there called uh, Faith No Idol in a nutshell. Check that out, okay? I'm going to read you something else real quick. This is, we're going to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians. When, when do y'all be on here? Okay. I come on Tuesdays. Whenever I get off work, I try to get around. So, um... As you can see, there, there it is, man. Uh, so this video is for it's for all of Israel, actually, because the time is at hand. It's time for us to come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Repent, all ye out there, uh, because it's, it's it's getting it's gonna get it's getting it's getting bad, man. It's getting bad. So the only thing that can protect us in these days is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, as he has said. Let's go on straight to the scripture now. This is Romans. Uh, chapter 9 verse 6 it says not as though the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai had taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel because they they uh, what's that scripture say they, with their mouth they do honor me and with their lips uh, but their heart they re remove their heart far from me man that's what that's going into just cause you 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 come to know that you're Israel, but now what? What you gonna do now, man? Hmm. So that that brings us to Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse verse twelve. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all His ways, and to love Him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good now when you go into it the Lord said he will he will come he will heal you he will take care of you man when you come back and do start doing the things um, that you're supposed to be doing now this lady she's doing this thing and she she actually said I know it's the Sabbath day but she's still doing it so you're breaking the Sabbath you're breaking the law statute commandments she's wearing pants you know, and then she's trying to break down. She's trying to stop the word of the Lord on top of it, man. So it was such. I, I, want, I almost want to use the word sad, but we, you know, if we didn't know any better, if we were out there trying to wake up all of Israel, you know, then it would be for us. It would be sad, but we know. Hey, not all Israel is Israel. Okay. Uh, let's we read this one more time before we move on. This is Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse twelve. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord require of you, man? Now that you've woken up and you know that you're an Israelite. Hmm? But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear the Lord. You understand? Hey, I'm, I'm, wow. Wait a minute. The Lord did all this to us? Because we didn't do the law, statutes, and commandments. That's, that's, that's grounds to be afraid. So, therefore... You're going to start doing the law, statute, and commandments, right? If you got any damn sins about yourself. <sighs> to walk in all his ways. This is when you start to learn about the Lord and you, because you want to please him now. Okay? And to love him. To let's see. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all, thy, with all thine soul. And then you're going to do what the Lord say. You're going to start to serve him. You're going to figure out how you can serve him the best way. Just like the men of the Lord on the highways and byways doing what the Lord say. Throughout the week we make these epistles. And what else we do? We meditate on the word. Right? It says to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes. And I can 
that which I command thee this day for thy good. He said it's going to be for your good. And we also have faith in the Lord, man. All right, so from there we're going to go to Jeremiah chapter 3. We're going to go to Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 22. Uh, it says, Return, ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord thy God. It says, Truly in vain is salvation hoped for, for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame hath devoured the labor of our fathers from their youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we, we and our fathers, from our youth even until this day. We have not obeyed the voice of the Lord thy God. And that's why he's saying, Return, ye backsliding children. Because we didn't obey the voice of the Lord our God. And that goes right back to, Oh, man. That's why we went into slavery? Oh, no. You're supposed to uh, understand what's going on, man. And that comes with uh, fearing the Lord. Uh, and then you go into uh, learning His ways, learning what's going on, learning about trying to eat the whole roll. Uh, meditating on the word so you can understand because the Lord said knowledge, is, knowledge will be the stability of thy time and these not, this is the knowledge so understanding why what, when, why, how, where you know what I'm saying and what we should, must do for the future that's basically what is, what is what's all these not to we're going to go back to the book of Romans Okay, so today I'm going to also try to get out of the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, man, and keep on moving down the road, okay? We're going to go to the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. It says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Because these scriptures are helping to build our faith even more. To see... Uh, to understand the words of the book, right? To be able to go into the scriptures and see that the Lord is only dealing with the house of Israel. You know, breaking down all these strongholds. Because it's, it's plain. It's written right here for us. It's written for our learning. To see what the Lord and how he dealt with our forefathers. See all the miracles he done for our forefathers. You know what I'm saying? These things are beautiful, brothers. And they're, they're written for our learning, okay? So we're supposed to... Uh, that's why, because the, the lady out there, she's trusting in Babylon. She's raising money. What are you going to do with the money? Are you going to use it personally? Or are you going to send it to one of those lab laboratories somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Now, we all know that the Lord has these physicians set up for you. But first, you trust in the Lord, man. Huh? You pray to the Lord. This is the book of Matthew 21, verse 22. And all these things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. He said, what? Well, what's the key word there? Believing. Ye shall receive. Matthew 21, verse 22. And all these things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believe, ye shall, ye shall receive. Because... Prayer is powerful, man. And the Lord said, "Hey, when you when y'all turn back to to me, if I if I say you you know you can have it, you know, he, he's gonna give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Because he already knows what we need. He wants us to ask for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord takes care. He's been taking care of us for so long. And it's time for us to acknowledge the Lord and and tell the Lord thank you." Tell him thank you for waking us, us up to know that we're Israel. You never know. Maybe he woke that lady up um, so he could heal that lady. You know what I'm saying? Of her um, 
of our disease, of our sickle cell. Let's go to the book of um, Psalms, chapter 30, verse 2. It says, O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. It says, O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, and I should not go down to the pit. See, because once you once you get healed, once you understand that you're the Israelites, boy, ain't no stopping us now. Ain't no stopping. You know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's nothing. That is it's the most special thing out there, brother. That you are a holy people, a royal priesthood to the creator of the universe. We got three minutes. Um, we got to read, let's read some of uh, the Hebrews, okay? Y'all know, know where we're going with this one. Chapter 11. We got to talk about, well, let's start, let's do first. Uh, Chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by the elders obtained a good report. Who is the elders? Our forefathers. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. We're gonna, let's, jump, let's jump down real quick to... Verse 11. Okay. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age. But she judged him faithful who had promised. Through faith that happened. Therefore sprang there even one more, one of even of one, and him as good as dead. So many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sands which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country, and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. It says, By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son okay of whom it was said that in Isaac shall their seed be called accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead from whence also he received him in a figure by faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning these to come by faith Jacob when he was a dying blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship and worship learning leaning upon the top of a staff by faith Joseph Joseph when he died made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave commandments concerning his bones by faith Moses when he was born was hid three months in his parents of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandments Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out this video, but that's what that's what faith brings, and that's that's what that's what we should be living off of, man. Faith, and now in these latter times, our faith is gonna carry us until the until the new kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because we that's what the Lord has instructed us to do. Have faith. So like, uh, yeah, like I was saying, by faith. We got to, the Lord um, has promised us a new kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So by faith, we're holding on to these words of the scripture. And we're doing exactly what the Lord has instructed us to do, man. Through faith. Okay? 
So through faith, every anything is possible. What did what they say? And that's what we're trying. That's what we're trying to uh, convey here to y'all brothers and sisters out there today. Now let's go. Let's get that again in John, in the book of John. John chapter 16, verse 23. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. He will give it you. It says, Hithro, he... Have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. It says, These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall shew you plainly of the Father. And it says, At, at, that, at that day ye shall ask in my name, and I will say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loved you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from Yahweh, from Yahweh, I came forth from the Father, and am come unto the world again, I leave the world and go to the Father. See, he said, what did he say? And have believed that I came out of, out of Yahweh. See, because it's all about faith, man. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna get to something uh, interesting here. We're gonna go back because this was written a four time. And through the spirit, I ran into my brother the other day and got this scripture for him because I was I, I was looking for it, man, to, to go with this. This is Second Chronicles chapter sixteen. We're gonna read all of Second Chronicles chapter sixteen. Okay, I'm gonna read it real quick. It says, "In the sixth and thirteenth year of, of the reign of Asa, Basha, king of Israel, came." against Judah and built Ramah to the intent that he might let none go out to come into Asa king of Judah. Then Asa brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of the Lord and of the king's house and sent to Ben-Hadad king of Syria and dwelt in Damascus saying there is a league between me and thee. And what the Lord said never trust thy enemies and make no covenant with them. And that's what this king just did. As there was between my father and thy father. Behold, I have set thee silver and gold. Go break thy league with Basha, king of Israel, that he may depart from me. And Ben Hadad hearkened unto the king Asa, and set the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel, and they smote Ejon. And Dan the Ablan Abel Mayan and all the store cities of Naphtalia. Oh, I love that word, Naphtalia. And it came to pass when Basha, when Basha heard it, that he left off building of Ramah and let his work cease. Then Asa the king took all Judah, and they carried away the stones of Ramah and the timber thereof, wherein Basha was building, and he built therewith Gert. Geba and Mispath. And at that time, Hananiah the seer came to, to Asa, king of Judah, and said unto him, Because thy have relied on the king of Syria, and not, not relied on the Lord thy God, therefore is the host of the king of Syria escaped out of thine hand. Because don't forget the Lord wants you to come to him in all things, and even in sickness. You know what I'm talking about? Were not the Ethiopians and the, and the Lubians a huge host with, ev with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet, because they did rely on the Lord, he delivered them into thine hand. See, because that's what the Lord used to do. When you're doing what the Lord say, he, he would do things for you, man. And, and he used to, man, and that's how he, the Lord used to show his power all the time. Because these other armies were way more, more, more armies than, than the children of Israel. And the Lord would uh, allow the children of Israel to defeat, defeat these armies. And sometimes he would even 
just fight for the children of Israel. They didn't even have to fight. For the eyes of the Lord ran to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. See, so he's showing his might. Herein thou hast done foolishly. Therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Then Asa was wroth with the seer and put him in, in a prison house because he didn't want to hear the, the, the words of the Lord, man. And that's, that's wicked, man. For he was in a, in a rage with him because of this thing. And Asa oppressed some of the people at the same time. And behold, the acts of Asa, first and last, lo, they are written in the book of kings of Judah and Israel. And Asa, in the thirty and ninth year of his reign, was diseased in his feet until his disease was exceedingly great yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord but to the physicians see because you go to the Lord first in all things man and let him let him take care of you if he tells you to go see the doctor go see the doctor if he heals you go and he, he will heal you you know what I'm talking about cuz now the Lord does he done told me this um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing a separate video. I don't want to get off track. Okay? Okay. But to, yet in his disease, he sought not to the Lord, but to the physician. Okay? And Asa slept with his father and died in the, in the, in the one and fortieth year of his reign. So, because of that, he didn't seek the Lord. He died. Look at that. Bam. Just right, almost like right away. And they buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed, which was filled with sweet odors and, and divers kinds of spices prepared by the apotheosis art. And they made a very great burning for him. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad I was able to bring out that story. And I hope you understand that the Lord wants y'all to come to him, man. Just pray to the Lord. Like, they pray to the Lord all the time. Well, how shall I say, keep your prayers all the, all the time. Just go pray, pray, pray all the time, man. But don't make them too long. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 12. And this is the time where the Lord is actually visiting the earth, man. So he's actually hearing our prayers now, okay? Because there was a time when the Lord had turned his face away from us, but now he's, he's back, man. These are the times. These are the special times, okay? Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 12. It says, Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, Because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression, and a perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly and in, at, in an instant, man. Because our brothers and sisters out here, you know, even the ones that say they're they Israel, and you know, um, they seem like they're righteous brothers and sisters, but are they really, man? Are y'all really doing the work? Are you really have real faith in the Lord? Or are you still trusting in oppression, trusting in Babylon? And as you can see, a lot of brothers are bringing out right now about uh, Zabak and uh, General Yohanna, IUIC, uh, GOCC, all these brothers who trust in oppression, man. With these 501c3s and all these things. Then they're not, you're not, you're not, you're not coming back to the power the way you're supposed to be coming back to the power, man. Okay? Just have to put that out there because that's, that's what, that's what it is, man. You're not trusting in the Lord. You're not letting go of this wicked kingdom. You're still looking around like everything. No, man. This is it, man. This is faith, man. This is some serious business, you know. Sure. Is it scary? But that's where your faith kicks it even stronger. What do you think? Why do you think we're being chastised now? 
Why do you think we're going through a little tribulations now? To get to make us sharper, stronger for the for the when it really hits the fan, man. Okay, uh, let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter nine. We're gonna start at uh, is it twenty one? We're gonna start at twenty one. Let's just start at eighteen, okay? St. Matthew chapter 9 verse 18 While he spoke these things unto them Behold there came a certain ruler And worshipping him Saying my daughter is even now dead But come and lay thine hand upon her And she shall live Okay. And Yahushai arose and followed him And so did his disciples And behold a woman which was diseased With an issue of blood Twelve years Came behind him And touched the hem of his garment for she said within herself, well, it's 12 years, so. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But she had faith. But Yahweh shall turn him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be a good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from her from that hour, man. Now let's see. These scriptures are written a four time for our learning, man. Because this, that's, that's a powerful work right there. Because of what? But, but who? Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Now you either going to be hot or cold. Don't be lukewarm around here. You either going to believe in your house by Hashem, your house shy, or, or not. You either going to what they do in poker? I'm all in. Put all them cars in there. Or, or get 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 the hell out of here. Cause you got don't be stumbling making a stumbling block for the rest of the brothers and sisters out here, man. With your stupidness. Okay? Don't be running around here talking about how much you Israel if you still breaking all the law, statutes, and commandments. Cause you ain't no damn Israel. You some kind of uh, Let's go to the book of Psalms. So I can go. The Lord said he's going to, uh, some of y'all got to be clean with fire. Because your iniquities are still rampant, man. You haven't even, probably haven't even repented, man. That's why, uh, uh, GMS South Carolina sometimes, he'd be like, you know, people all up on the comment board asking all kinds of stupid questions or whatever, uh, concerning themselves with, with uh, deep, deep things. And he'd be like, have you even repented yet, man? You know what I'm saying? You're all over here. Or you're going against, you know, going against what the, what the, what the brother's bringing out. And he's like, Are, have you even repented? Are you on your path? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 10. It says, Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not thy heart upon them. It says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that the power belong unto God, Yahweh. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his word. It says also unto thee, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, belongeth mercy, for thou render to every man according to his word. Let's read it one more time. Psalms chapter 62, verse 10. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. If, if, the, if, you're, if the Lord bless you with a little bit of money, Okay, thanks, Father Lord. But keep your eye on 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 your how. You know what I'm saying? So what? This is it's because he said it's vanity. Because of, that is nothing, man. You know how you know the Lord said everything is mine. You know what I'm saying? We talking about rulership here. We talking about everlasting life here, man. Let the Lord bless you so you don't have to struggle so much. Don't take your don't take, don't take your eye off off your how about Shem how I do the work. This is beautiful, man. This is beyond anything you ever imagined, man. 
Can you understand, man? We're talking about the creator of the universe. We're talking about the creator of all things, man. Huh? You, you just don't even understand, man. You got me, you got me talking in a high-pitched voice over here, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Let's go to the book of Mark. Okay. Uh, put my glasses back on. Chapter 3, verse 35. It says, For who shall ever shall do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? The same as my brother and my sister and mother. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, who else? Remember? Let's go. Let's let's go up a little bit. Let's go. Let's let's read from 31. This is uh, the book of Saint Mark, chapter three, verse 31. There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, set unto him calling, and the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren. Without, seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked around about on them which sat about him and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whoso, whosoever shall do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who shall, the same is my brother, the same is my sister and mother. See, because right there, um, these other brothers out here, these other camps out here, that's that's uh, that's fucking around. Excuse my French. That's, that's messing around. That's not coming to the fullness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who's who's not preaching the, the gospel of peace correctly. You know what I'm saying? The Lord saying that that you 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 you're not His family. Don't y'all understand that? Don't you understand how serious that is? Because you're leading these other brothers and sisters astray, man. Because you're not telling them the truth, what they should be doing to get they, they self together, man. How to follow the, the, the word of the Lord properly, man. Okay? This is, this is not a, it's a serious issue. But, at the same time, it's all under the power of the Father. So, um, prophecy must be fulfilled, right? Prophecy must be fulfilled, man. I'm going to go back to the book of Isaiah. This time I'm going to go to uh, chapter 30, verse 1. Because it says, Woe, destruction, to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, and the cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, man. Shall we go on? That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked, at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt man because once again it goes right back to hey you go to the Lord man what the what the Messiah say ask of him ask and you shall receive man have faith man have faith brethren okay we're gonna go to uh, Psalms to give a little bit of praise here because um, this one came up here, and it really, it really something, okay? Oh. I'm gonna read the whole thing here. It's a, it's a bit. It's bear with me. I don't know. Like, this is this is uh, the new song. I think it's beautiful. This is Psalms chapter one o seven. Okay, it says, it says. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever, man. Let the Redeemer, let the redeemed of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai say so, whom they, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. He had redeemed them. So like you're saying, this is future. This is future tense spoken in the present moment. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. 
hunger and thirst, thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord. They, then they cried unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in their trouble, and He delivered them out of their distress. Okay, He led them forth by the right way that they might go to the city of habitation. He chastised them. He made sure they were on the right path because the Lord don't like no unclean thing. He said, "Oh, that man would praise the Lord, would praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men." For he satisfied the longing soul and fulfilled the hungry soul of goodness, with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Who's that? That's talking about the children of Israel in the slave trade. Because they rebelled against the words of the God of, of Yahweh and contempt and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, there was none to help. Because the only help is Yahweh. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. That's right, that's what he's doing right now, brothers. Oh that oh that man would praise Yahweh Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools because they transgress and because their iniquities are afflicted. Hmm? Yes, because of your sins, you're afflicted, man. That should give you incentive to not sin, man. Their souls adhere all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. You, you, you do whatever you hell you please, man. But the Lord told you don't do certain things, man. Then they cry unto the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in their trouble, and He saved them out of their distress. He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He sent His word to give us mercy, man. Oh, that man would praise the Lord, Yahweh, for His goodness and for His wonderful works, to the children of men okay and let them s s sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing they that go down to the sea in ships that do business business in great waters these see the works of of, of Yahweh and his wonders in the deep for he commanded and raised the stormy wind he lifted up the waves thereof they mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the depths, their souls is melted because of trouble. They're afraid, man. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wits' end. Then they cry unto Yahweh Shimi Shai in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of distress. He maketh the storm and calm, so that they the waves thereof are still. See the power of the Father, man? Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he Bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Okay, it says, Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turned the rivers into he turned rivers into wilderness and water springs into dry ground. It says a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. For the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turned a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Because, hey, why should I continue to bless y'all if y'all don't do wicked shit? He turned the wilderness into a standing water and dry ground into water springs. And there he made the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for inhabitation. And sow the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesses them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffered not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are menished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. Okay? He pours contempt unto princes, and causes them to wander in the wilderness, where there is no way. Yet sitteth he the poor on the high from affliction, 
and making him families like a flock. Because the Lord like to bring small things and make them great to show his power. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquities shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise, whoso is wise, and will observe these things, and will observe these things. Even they shall understand the living, loving kindness of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. Because the wise is going to sit back and look and know, hey man, this is the creator of all things, man. And he said that we is chosen people. He said, hey, look, I got the power to do this, this, and this. I want y'all to, I want y'all to be this way. Only a fool will reject that, man. Huh? Only a fool. Do what the Lord say. Okay. Hey, y'all, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 12, verse 46, because we want to reiterate this, because this is very important. Okay? Matthew chapter 12, verse 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? Right? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my mother, of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother, man. So he's disregarding anybody else that's running around here. That's not doing the will of because they're, uh, they're, they're, they're not right, man. They're, they're not righteous. Okay? And the, the, the Yahweh don't like no unclean and wicked things, man. Okay? That's why he said they gotta be they gotta be clean by the fire, man. Okay, that's serious. Okay, right now we're going to go to the book of John, chapter 6, verse 40. And this, and this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him and have ever, may have everlasting life, okay? And I will raise him up at the last. Let's let's go to um, let's let's jump to thirty four. Then he said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. Right. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And he that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out. So the, when you come to the Lord, if he's given to you by the Father, the, Yahweh Shai say he's not going to cast you out. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Okay? And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but shall rise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believe on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day, man. So you have to have this faith and believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? In order to even, in order to receive anything or, or get to that next level, you got to give it all. You can't be running around here playing games. This ain't no game, man. But also, I guess you have to be chosen. You just have to be one. But that's why we're coming out here only for the 144,000, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel. And you can clearly see um, how the how the young lady came and, and just stood there. She was there for like almost 45 minutes, man. 30, 30, 30 to 45 minutes. Okay? And that's a beautiful thing. 
And I'm thinking she not there's one not one thing that she reject rejected that I brought out that night. So that's that's beautiful also. And that's the way it should be because what? My sheep hear my voice, says the Father. We're gonna go to the book of Luke, chapter thirteen, verse two. And Jesus said unto them, Suppose ye that these gen uh, Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Salome fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Now we look at this and we think, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, there's some brothers that they can't see this. So they're not going to repent. Okay, because they, 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 they have not been blessed with the eyes to see this. So they're not going to believe it. That's why we have to uh, tell the Lord, thank you for giving us the faith to, to believe in these words, man. And go for, go for it, you know. Okay. We're coming down to the end, man. This is, uh, let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 9. Right here. And this is a beautiful scripture too, man. 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 9. It says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. Mm -hmm. Because what you doing? You're, you're out there trying to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't turn to the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. Mm -hmm. You're wearing pants. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And yet they have loathed my law while they yet while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it. He, he understand not but despised the word man. The same must know it after death by pain. The Lord goes on let's just read 13. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world was created, man. That's why we're out here for the 144, hopefully elect, and the one-third, man. That's why we, we're happy and re rejoice when we see uh, one of our brothers and sisters just actually get it, you know. And we hope and pray for them uh, that they stay, stay the course and stay on it, you know, uh, with all diligence. Uh, this is the last scripture, okay, y'all? We're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna stay in Second Ezra. We're gonna go to chapter eight. Jump back to chapter eight, and we're gonna start at verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. And this is the latter time, because they have walked in great pride, man. Mm hmm. Well, some of y'all too prideful to get on the highways and byways. Some of y'all too prideful. To uh, observe the Sabbath day, or, or or even try, or to just stand up for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and say no. The the Lord say, hey, I, I'm not I'm I'm not supposed to do those things. That's pride that's keeping you from uh, following the law, statutes, and commandments, man. It says, this is verse 51. But understood thou for thyself, and seek out of the glory for such as be like thee. That's why we, you know, we got a. Uh, this is for edification of the body, man. For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, plenty, plenty in us, plenty is made ready, a city is built, and rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Thank you. Wickedness and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. That's what I'm talking about. Sorrows are past, and in the end is sown the treasure of immortality. Woo! 
Therefore, and therefore, ask thou, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways, man. They did not return to the ways of his forefather. They'd rather uh, go on with the ways of Babylon over here, man. Cause, but the but the Lord's ways are way better than Babylon's ways. You know what I'm saying? It's just come on, man. This is the creator of the universe, man. More so, more moreover, sorry, Salaki. Moreover, they had trodden down his righteousness and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing they must die. And it goes for the Edomites and all those other nations too. For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them. Mm -hmm. And were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. Because the Lord is coming back. The Lord is visiting the earth right now. These things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee. That's why we be thankful and happy, man. That's why uh, we give honors and praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai every time, man. And a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou shown me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not shown me. Well, brothers and sisters, this is the time. This is the time. Now, I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope um, somewhere out there, somebody's faith got boosted a little bit, or, or you know, the spirit is in, in. You know, I just hope that everything goes well with y'all, brothers and sisters, that's out there listening. Because if you are listening, that means you do give a damn. And if you do give a damn. Start uh, getting more into uh, the word. Make sure you try to read the whole role and do what's right. I'm going to, um, next video, hopefully, I'm going to try to make one on, on repentance, okay? Um, and what that entails. So, with all that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, bringing out the 100% truth. And, and preaching the word diligently, teaching brothers and sisters. Uh, give uh, uh, salutations to the 144 hopeful elect, the Akim out there. And of course, the one third brothers and sisters who's true believers in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the word. Alright, y'all. So, with all that, I want to say, Shalom.